Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to make the case of mentorship and sponsorship of a new generation of hashtag RadXX and hashtag RadXY through social media. I fervently believe that we need to devise new ways to mentor and sponsor a new generation of radiologists. And I think we have this incredible opportunity through social media to connect with hashtag RadXX and hashtag RadXY, otherwise female and male colleagues, at all career levels. The most commonly utilized platforms for these types of opportunities in social media for radiology include Twitter, where you have these microbursts of information and sort of in-the-moment conversation. It's very easy to direct message someone if you're mutually following one another, as well as tagging someone to facilitate a public conversation. We also know about Facebook. We know it's the largest social network amongst adults. It's very ideal to building close communities and close relationships. Very easy to private message someone, if, even if you're not Facebook friends. And also, it's very easy to tag someone to facilitate public conversation. You can also tag a radiologist if you're involved in a secret or closed Facebook group, which there are many of those happening in radiology as well. The bottom line is that social media is removing the red tape accessibility to radiologists which previously existed. The leaders of our field, the clinical innovators, the educators, the researchers, they are now at our fingertips to really devise formidable and long-lasting relationships. So some examples of mentorship and sponsorship opportunities on social media, I've sort of already touched on direct messaging and private messaging. It's very easy to tag specific radiologists um, in tweets on Twitter and Facebook posts. Tweet chats are just a great way to engage in conversation as well as public conversations on meaningful topics. One hot topic you know, issue is should IR separate from DR and should medical students have a mandatory radiology rotation? JCR hosts tweet chats monthly. In one month, we had the topic of medical student education. We had so many medical students participate all over the country, and so many mentorship and sponsorship opportunities culminated from this tweet chat alone. It was incredible to see. What I want to convey to you today is there is a great radiology movement happening on social media. And radiologists of all career levels and all practice types are becoming mentors and sponsors of trainees to really engage and recruit the next generation. Clinical educators such as Dr. Daryl Heitkamp, Dr. Geraldine McGinty, who's the chair of the ACR Board of Chancellors, I myself have been so fortunate to mentor and sponsor so many trainees, particularly Ann Saylor, who's actually a medical student here in Chicago. It's really been an incredible opportunity to engage these trainees. Amy Kotzen, as I think, really hits the nail on the head. She says, we are all equals here, and this is just an equal level playing field, and it has been truly a remarkable game changer in the profession of radiology. So in closing, my final thoughts are, you know, we all need to have buy-in for this social media radiology community to continue to grow. And you know, there are already so many of us participating, but we need buy-in from all of you to really you know, improve and to recruit the next diverse generation of hashtag RadXX and hashtag RadXY. And this is where we have a really fantastic opportunity to recruit uh, factions that we have previously had difficulties with recruiting, particularly women in radiology and underrepresented minorities. So this is the opportunity for us, regardless of practice type, regardless of geographic location, regardless of age, to really participate and be involved for this movement for change. And I really think that social media has the potential to become that great equalizer if we're all willing to embrace it as a radiology profession. Thank you.